Hi, I'm Connie Davis with Bayer Crop Science and I'm the North America product systems lead and I work on the short corn systems team. I have a team of breeders that are scientists that uh, across the corn belt in the US that supports our commercial team with our smart corn systems launch. Looking at our smart corn systems plot, we have uh, short corn so, uh, planted here along with our uh, traditional tall corn. Um, so what we have is um, the smart corn systems are powered by these short corn, um, short statured hybrid hybrids. And we have three key benefits to our smart corn systems. The first in, it, in the acronym is PAY, P-A-Y. So protection of yield with improved standability. So short corn, because it's naturally um, has that lower center of gravity, the ear is low Lower and the overall plant height is shorter, so it has improved standability when it comes to green snap and root and stock lodging. So that resistance to or, or less risk of losing yield to wind events. And in fact, we had a wind event come through um, just the other day and have some um, plots in the area where we're seeing smart corn systems and short corn standing well with our tall corn um, getting some, some lodging. So protection of yield by, by improved standability is is that p and then the a is access and so we um we have the ability to get across the top of short corn all season long um, first of all at the very beginning um, that we have when short corn is growing and um, tall corn they don't differentiate in height until around that rapid growth stage so around v10 v11 that's when short corn stays short and tall corn starts to elongate and so um, we have about a five to seven day window in that time period where short corn you can get over the top of short corn with a toolbar height to be able to do side dress. Um, so have a little more time and flexibility with applying inputs in that access um, part of applying your, your nitrogen. And then later in the season, as the corn's growing, you can see that you could get a ground rig over the top of short corn versus tall corn. Um, and we do have a sprayer on the other side. We'll have to show you that as well but you can apply fungicide, any kind of uh, Y drops, get, get in uh, over the top and, and apply some fertility um, as needed, but, but also fungicide and insecticide. Um, inputs when you need and how you need is, is the access piece of short corn. And then the yield, the yield potential short corn. So we um, are advancing products this fall. So um, hope to have a really good pipeline. We have some material in um, ground, uh, on farm grower trials currently, um, but we're looking at these experimental hybrids currently and hope to have them in groundbreakers next year. And then we'll be um, available in 24 for, for um, a limited launch um, with the products that we have coming forward in advancing this fall. So um, yield potential though is going to be equivalent to tall. Um, we want them to perform just like the tall checks that we have in our trials. And then um, of course we have better potential when we have those yield events to keep and protect our yield, uh, yield in that field. So maybe just a little bit, um, if you want to look at how do we get to short? So this is a short corn plant. This was grown in a greenhouse, but I wanted to show you um, how we have the short. So we have the same number of internodes and the same number of leaves below the ear as a tall corn plant, but those internodes are shortened and um, do not elongate as much as a tall corn comparator. So with that reduced ear height, that gives us that improved standability. And then you have less overall plant height um, to be able to catch the wind. And, and you can see in the tall corn, if we walk over here, how much higher that ear height is in this tall corn and how much more of a sail you have um, when the wind comes in to be able to knock it over. And we've got some green snap um, plants here kind of demonstrating that as well. And you can see those inner nodes in the tall corn are elongated, um, whereas the short corn was compact. We have the same number of leaves that are just compressed into a shorter canopy. So how does that, how does that really um, impact no-till farmers. Um, so I guess that's the big question. Um, so we're, we're doing work with no-till as well as conventional till. We have some strip till trials out in, in the West, in Nebraska. So um, we're looking at short corn in different tillage situ scenarios and situations. Um, one big thing when we think about short corn and being able to push yield potential 
at launch, we are not expecting farmers to, um, we're not expecting farmers to have to change their management practices, but we're, we're, we're telling them that, hey, short corn is gonna stand if you wanna um, increase uh, your, st your population, your planting population in on certain fields uh, where you have high produ productivity. So as we think about more stocks out there, um, how does that handle in no-till and in our residue management? We're doing um, some work in with residue management out west as well, looking at um, bailing up the residue and, and comparing it. And really, we have similar amounts of residue. Um, but as you push population, then you'll have more plants out there and we'll be able to um, kind of see how those we're, we're still looking at those uh, situations, but seeing how they manage that residue in, in, in no till situation. We have been breeding short corn for the past 10 years. The team that I work with, are they're responsible for helping advance uh, short corn products in the pipeline and looking at the systems, uh, the different systems and management practices with short corn. Um, but what is the difference with our competitors? So, so um, we, you know, we have the best germplasm that we have in the Bayer, Bayer products and in the Bayer brands. And um, so we're able to utilize that knowledge and genetics uh, potential of our precision breeding. We're able to utilize that knowledge as we advance products and, and have the best genetics out there uh, to put short corn in. So what is the smart corn system? The smart corn system is what I like to call the genetics with our um, all of our management practices that uh, on the growers farm as well as that digital piece of how we're collecting data how we're utilizing data that that the farmer has on their piece of ground so um, smart corn systems has the short stature corn powered by short stature corn and we're able to look at those management practices of tillage um, nutrient fertility um, all the different management practices, rotation, all of that, um, thinking about precision placement of these hybrids, putting them on the best acre for, um, for that farmer, for that hybrid. So which hybrids belong where, um, trying to understand um, digitally from all the data that we have across all of our commercial trials, all of our breeding trials, all of our um, uh, climate field view uh, data that we have from customers. How do we look at where these products fit best um, using that information, soil type, topography, um, even your environment as far as uh, the rainfall and irrigation, using that information to best place the short stature corn hybrids and then utilizing that information to um, prescribe that density and the management practices, fungicide density and um, fertility that the inputs needed to help with yield potential of these products. So bringing all of that together is really that smart corn systems approach and being able to have um, the data being shared between us and the farmer if, if they choose to share it back to us, but um, utilizing that data that, to then um, help us understand what, what other hybrids would be the best fit for that acre. So we're excited to have the smart corn systems um, launch coming soon with short stature corn and to innovate with our growers as we learn learn more about the system we're looking forward to seeing it on more acres so so in, in the on-farm grower trials this year we're learning a lot about where these products could be placed and learning um, you know we want to innovate with our customers and see how they're going to use short corn so the no-till farmers the no-till um, customers that you have how do they want to use short corn on their farm? And so we want to innovate with our growers. We're looking for growers that, that want to try it and look at uh, for groundbreakers and for um, a continued on-farm um, trials next year. So, um, so contact your local agronomist if you're interested in, in seeing some short corn. But um, as we have the limited launch, it'll be in the, the 105 to 115 RM is the main uh, launch geography based on the products that we currently have on the on-farm grower trials. So uh, looking forward to getting data back from those and then uh, innovating and, and learning from our customers of how they want to use short corn.